Let's do it. All right. Oh yeah. Some more evolution items wasted. Okay. Da da. Giganotosaurus Carolini. Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Bogdan, welcome back to Tiny Dino World, for today we are gonna evolve another 5 star because I collected enough uh, evolution items. So in the tournament currently I am second place, I'm not sure how long I will survive in the second place because there is one more date the, till the tournament is gonna end and people will kick my butt so bad when they see me available when I don't have protection on so uh, let's see back runes I have 20 of these ones 47 of these ones 141 of these ones 147 of these ones and five ancient bones which takes forever to get okay uh, let's see who shall we evolve from my other five stars that I have. I can evolve this guy if I want to. I know he's white. It's all white. It looks pretty cool. I can evolve this guy if I want to. I can evolve this guy if I want to. But hey, if we got Giganotosaurus, one of the biggest carnivores, and people, a lot of people love this dinosaur, I like it as well, but not that much. But people seem to enjoy this dancer a lot, even though he's weak, he doesn't have very good uh, passive skill, doesn't have very good active skill, he has a good soldier, but that's it, he doesn't have heal or anything good, besides the major shock which stops buildings from attacking for 3 seconds, I'm not sure what strategy you can use with this, with this guy, but I said hey, Let's do this guy. Let's evolve this guy. Why not? Plus he looks blue. I like the color blue. I like it a lot. Uh, it seems like the eyes... Look at the eye on the left side. It's only uh, a small white square. And if you look on the right side, there are two squares. But one is the red, which is which is symbolize the red eyes. Like we know he has red eyes, I see, and another square over there. So I'm not sure. I think this guy on the left side has two squares as well as the first one, as the second one. But it's black, I think. It's gray and you don't see it properly. Because of the pixels. Let's do it. Alright. Oh yeah. Some more evolution items wasted. Okay. Da da! Giganotosaurus Carolini! We evolved this guy. Oh yeah! Let's check him out. Ooh, hello, gorgeous! Your leg is still kinda looking bad. It still looks bad. On the. On the top leg. Leg still looks bad. Not very great. Okay, but the rest, I like the skin. I really like the skin and the colors. Simply amazing. Too bad it's not good to use. Too bad. Too bad. Do I have some dinosaurs to evolve this guy? No, he's still a level 1. <laughs> I didn't add any dinosaur on him, anything. He's still level 1. Oops! I clicked on the band instead of clicking in the story mode. But hey, let's let's check it out a little. Let's check the band. I am top 1. Uh, with the raids, I did all the raids I had. I'm basically killing it with the raids. Uh, I'm not killing it with the donations. I only donated like 3 million. That's all I had because I had a bunch of runes to craft. A lot of them I had. So I craft them all and I used all the coins I had. And I buy a lot of exploration and evolution items. I buy a lot this week. So yeah. I didn't quite donate it a lot, but still, I donate experience for the band, and I'm second place in the tournament. Okay, so we need to pretty much upgrade all this stuff over here, if you guys look, nothing is upgraded, only this one looks a little upgraded, and we only focus on the village defense packs, which upgrades our huts and towers, these are the only ones we upgrade every single time. 
and this one as well which is the dinos perk where we upgrade our dinosaurs attack defense and warriors attack defense plus when we have a chance we get uh, we upgrade the rage orbs and the summon orbs so I'm not sure how long this band is gonna take till I till we max it out if you guys see here if uh, for the next rage orbs it requires level 45 on the band and we are level 24 now so that means the band already passed level 30 so it's bigger than level 30 that's interesting how long how big is the band like how long can we level up is it like the same as the uh, game itself like level 60 maybe <laughs> that means we are gonna have a lot of work to do till we do that let's jump in the story mode and let's do one simple raid then we are gonna finish our daily raids because I have two more saved I did two summons today two 10, 10k summons and I think I, I got a 5 star I got Stegosaurus pretty a wisdom pretty a wisdom even though I, I, has, that's, I have it already but I got him for soul level so I can level up the soul level on my Stegosaurus okay buddy Let's see what you can do. Red eyes. This looks more like uh, my red eyes from the Yu-Gi-Oh! If you guys know, red eyes, black dragon. He has the same colors. He has the red eyes, but he's a dinosaur. It's not the dragon, but it looks pretty cool. Okay, let's summon all of these guys. Let's stop this building from attacking me. Take it down. Oh yeah, I like the attack. It's kind of fast. He attacks very fast, too bad he doesn't have better skills. He doesn't have, even the warriors are not that great. I lose them easy on a max village. Okay, done. So there it is, we have Gigantosaurus Evolved. Next one, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do. Maybe the new dinosaur that they're gonna release. Maybe I'm gonna do that one. Just like I did with the tribor. Or maybe the tribor, I'm gonna do it if I get him in the first week. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get him in the first week. Because it's gonna be tough. Because of the new tribor. <laughs> it's gonna be very tough for me to get it. Even though I'm I'm still gonna get that answer one way or another. Because let me show you. Everyone can get that dinosaur. Now, every single person who plays the the tribor can get him. If you have 20 gems every single week, of course. <laughs> If you have 20 gems every single week, you are gonna get that dinosaur. And let me show you guys how you can get it. Uh, let's see here. Rewards? No, not here. Here. Okay. So if you do 120 raids and win them all, you basically get five shards from the tribal dinosaur plus. You get uh, this stuff over here, the summon points and coins as well. So if you do 120 points, 120 raids, sorry, which is 240 points, you get the dinosaur at the end of the month if you uh, if you play every single week and you reach 120 raids, do them all, win them all, and make 240 points, you get the dinosaur. So it's not like before when only the top top one, two, three from here were gonna get it. Then the second place only top one and two, and the last place only top one. See, that's how it was before, but now it's more easy. I see, but it's more expensive to get soul sorus in this now. <laughs> Very expensive to get a soul sorus. You need to waste a bunch of gems just to get one soul sorus. Alright, now let's, oh yes, see, see, I'm buying every single time one of this stuff, because I get runes from them, I want to make that freaking craft a level 10 rune, I really want to make it, it takes so much, it takes so long, I'm playing this game for months and I still didn't do a level 10 rune, okay, uh, let's do our last two raids before we end this. Let's find someone with a lot of coins and this guy has a lot of coins but not too many summon points. Ooh, 
Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, Suko. Let's do it. Like we always do. Because that's how we do. We kill. We kick some butt. We raid. Okay, Suko. Let's see. So if I get two more Soul Sorus next month, that would be awesome because I can max out my Suko members. And I'm gonna start and work on Acro from now on. And that's pretty cool. I was thinking, shall I buy uh, four more shards in the shop? One shard, if you buy one shard, it's like 49 uh, gems. So that's almost 200 gems, just for four shards. 200 gems. I was thinking, hmm, kinda expensive. I should probably play the tournament, the tribal, and get a Soul Swords. I'm not sure, maybe, I'm still hoping for the developers to release uh, like some extra events where you can win like one shard of a dinosaur or five shards of a dinosaur or stuff like that for free like one time every single month, at least one time a month, that would be awesome I know the, they released the altar, it's pretty awesome, the altar is very good, I like it so much because it requires teamwork in order to get the prizes and I like teamwork, that's how the game started, at the beginning it was only teamwork. The tournament it was the same, teamwork, like we were tying up for top 1 prize every single time, so it was very cool because it was ve time uh, very, not very, it was teamwork. So yeah, there is no more teamwork now, and I don't like it, besides the altar there is no more teamwork in this game anymore and it's pretty sad <laughs> pretty sad we can't collaborate with our teammates that are playing the game anymore the person who has the most gems now wins every single time I think I found the guy already 34 okay I'm gonna attack you and that's it for today tomorrow we have another set of 40 raids and I'm still trying to collect some evolution items so I can evolve some free stars. I want to work on the little guys now. Because it's gonna take me a while till I get 5 more ancient bones. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh my god, this hut has only stump. Please don't. Come on, come on, come on. Heal me up, please. Thank you. One, two, three. Some of my warriors, come on, that took a lot of my time, and I don't like it. Alright, summon some warriors, I see he has the egg towers very, very far away, so I'm gonna summon all my warriors now. Okay. Good, now we have, oh, he's not even a max village, okay. Now I see. I think I'm gonna finish this with full HP, because I receive great jobs, and I like it. Alright, two more rage orbs, if you give me please, don't kill my healers! Alright, summon my warriors back, I'm gonna summon them after I take down that egg tower over there. Okay, stop with the healing please, come on, alright, and now we are gonna summon our warriors. Come on, my brothers. Do some damage. Kill them all. Take no prisoners. Okay. I think I'm gonna need only... My warriors here on the field. And... One more heal. And that's it. Awesome! We did it. I've seen a lot of people just quit playing. It's kinda sad. A lot of people. I see a lot of uh, maxed out villages and they just quit the game. Maybe because they didn't like it. Just like I didn't like all the developers ideas. They kind of seen what I seen and said screw this game I'm not gonna play it. It's too... I know it takes it takes a lot of your time. This game takes a lot of your time and you if you are not online in the right time especially when you compete for the top 1 prizes top one I mean the oh my god 
Lily Cat, hello girl. HP 294 and attack 45. I want you. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna take this. I want her in my village. But first, I need to take down someone. You. You have low HP. Sorry. Sorry. I want you. Look at the attack. Look at the HP. Oh my God, it's so good. I really find. I very rare find this. This kind of villagers in my village. 294 and 45 attack. Max you can find is HP 300 and attack 400. For 14, not 400. 14, but I've rarely seen someone with 40 attack. And I have some people with, see over here, Tony Gray has HP 300. So I got some of these guys with HP, but some of, most of them have very low attack. So I'm looking to find people like Little Kitty, Li Lily Cat. If I find more like Lily Cat, that would be awesome. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, don't forget to leave a like, share my video with your friends, subscribe today, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Good improvement for a free start. Uh, I'm at the moment, I'm